right, YouTube, I'm back at you with another video. This is more a specific video to the people that like the two-stroke build, that likes to see the transformation on these bikes. And this specifically today, I just picked up or just found this raw pro circuit pipe for the KX250 build. It took me forever to find a pipe for this thing because for the 05s and up, uh, pro circuit's out of stock. They told me three, four months to even be able to make me one. And I happened to find this works edition uh, pipe on eBay, which I believe based on the ad, he said this was off a factory bike. I've never seen like gold welds on a production pipe. My understanding it's off one of the factory bikes uh, back in the day, which I think is pretty cool. So it came right from France, definitely was not cheap, but I had no other choice because a platinum pipe just doesn't fit the look I'm going for to uh, match the KX125 right here. I could touch this one up to make it a little more blue, but I honestly haven't taken this thing out this year. Still gotta give it a run over, fresh top end before I even ride it, but pretty much gonna match that. I'm gonna blue this thing up. I'm gonna put it in the vapor honing cabinet and uh, get all this slag off, I believe it's called. Freshen it up, make this thing look new, and then we'll hit it with the torch. Maybe hit it with the scotch bright wheels in some spots and really finish this thing out, get it looking good, and I'll uh, give you guys a little how-to on how to transform your uh, two-stroke pipes, make them blinged out. Every two-stroke build, everybody asks, how do you do that? How do you get the pipe blue? How do you get it so clean? What do you use? The pipe definitely makes the most of the bike, I think. First, I gotta drain this cabinet out. I haven't touched it since winter. That water's super dirty. I gotta drain all the media out. I got some fresh media right here to put in there um, because it was starting to uh, not really strip away the parts. So for everyone that's new, this is my 05 KX250 build, which should be done in the next month or so. Finally getting all the parts in. If you're new and you wanna see the transformation from this KX250 to look like my KX125, Make sure you subscribe. Like the video if you're pumped for some new two-stroke builds. If any of you guys wanna follow the build as I'm doing it, you can follow my Instagram where I post everything I'm doing as I do it because some of these videos come out weeks later. Should be good to go, it's all flushed out, new media. Here is, once again, the before look on this thing. Give a full little run over. Boom. A couple little dents, but I'm not too worried about it. You can barely even really notice it. It's better than not having one at all. So get this thing put in here and get this thing all cleaned up. Finally, after like two, three hours blasting this thing, fast forward, this thing is finally done. Pretty much got it shining brand new. As you can tell, came out super clean. Pretty much spotless right now. There are a few little spots like in here I couldn't really get, but for the most part, I'm happy with it. Let me know what you think in the comments, but think it's pretty clean. Dry this thing off and then we'll get uh, the torch out, torch it up, get some color on this thing. Especially comparing it to this pipe right here, which has been ridden on. Another thing I would have done is use one of these wheels from Cameron Nemo, which I'll leave linked below. I don't have access to a vapor honing cabinet. This is the next best thing. It'll do just as good of a job and uh, get it shining, get it looking brand new. This thing especially will get out all the blemishes, all the little scuffs and little um, nicks that you might've had. Where the vapor honing cabinet really doesn't take any material off, it just kind of shines it up. This right here, couldn't get it off in the vapor honing cabinet. I'll just hit it with this a little bit. It'll take it right off. But these things are definitely the move if you do any type of bike builds. All right, now all I'm pretty much gonna do is hit it with the torch. I'm gonna follow all the welds down, do a couple little other spots that I want. And uh, pretty much this all comes down to um, your patience with it. Once you get heat on it and you see it to change color, you kind of just follow along with it, 
go each direction and it will kind of work with you. It depends what torch you use and how it comes out. If you want more like a refined uh, blue lining, whatever you want to call it, or this is more of a widespread um, than if you have like a little more direct torch. All personal preference, I like the way this looks and comes out, so this is what I run. <laughs> Money, money. And here the thing is, all done up. Let me know what you think. I think it came out pretty clean. Did a little bit more on the top than I normally would have. I might fix up this little piece by the pro circuit. I'm not sure if I like how it comes up. I should have just gone straight with it. I'm not really sure what I was thinking, but it's not terrible. I might uh, put it back in the blast cabinet, take that away. Overall, this thing is sick. It's so clean now. I'm really happy with it. And uh, this thing is going to look really good on the bike. This is getting me stoked to uh, get this thing finished up and see how it's going to look. The bike's definitely going to come out sweet once it's all done up. This is exactly why I only wanted a raw pipe. You can't beat this look. Like a chrome pipe just does not do it for me. I don't know if anybody else relates to that. I'm sure a lot of you will relate to that if you're watching this video. And the gold welds adding a little flavor to this thing. I honestly don't think it could get any better than this. I really don't. So overall, start to finish with all the vapor honing, all the torching. This honestly probably took me a good three hours of completely start to finish, maybe four hours. I vapor honed this thing for a while to make sure it was good and to get everything off. But I'd say it's definitely worth it now that it's all done. Right, well, that's gonna wrap this video up. If you guys are new and you wanna see more build videos, if you wanna see the KX250, like I said, get built in the next month, make sure you're subscribed. Just pulled out the 125 after a while. Give this thing a little run over, fire it up since uh, Probably should drain the gas from it sitting all winter if it even has any gas in it, to be honest with you. See if this thing fires up, which you might see in the next video. But thinking about breaking this out tomorrow, bringing it to the track and not bringing the 250. So just to give this thing a little bit of love since it's sat for so long. You guys have to see the next video if I end up bringing this out. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.